Hello everyone, I am Venrith and welcome back to some more Mudrunner. Right, so the plan for today is quite simply to see if we can get this garage trailer up over here, over to the garage, and see if we can get enough points to unlock this garage. So as long as I can do that, I'd be pretty happy. Although it could go so horribly, horribly wrong because there's so much water to cover. But let's give it a go anyway. So I've set the waypoint to this garage trailer just here. Might use my mouth, it's a bit easier. So the idea is come down here, get this garage trailer. And then if we look at the, the uh, display here on the map, we can see, you know, how deep the water is. So there's an option of coming across here and going around here, but there's a bit of deep water. Or we could come back this way and then just cut across the same way we did with the K700 in the last episode. So that might be a possibility. Um, only other options is to sort of do something with this area down here. But I think we'll give this a go and see what happens. Worst case scenario, I get stuck. Right, parking brake off. Let's go into reverse. And let's head off. Why is it saying that way? Oh, it must, maybe it's that way. I'm getting lost already. Not good. Right, so I'm going to go into one... Oh, this is muddy. This is muddy. So I don't even know if I'm going to have enough fuel to do this either. So it's going to be interesting, to say the least. But we'll see what we can do. We're all wheels, let's get over this tree. This in the way, there we go. Yeah, maybe coming this way isn't the best idea. Problem is, every time you put the all wheel drive on, it drinks the fuel like crazy. Uh oh, I think I'm stuck. Yeah, winch time. Let's put the winch on. There and see what happens. Come on, you can do it. Come on. There we go. Let's release the winch. I'm really hoping I'm going to have enough fuel. I'm not sure if I will, to be honest. What I might do is just take it down a bit of a notch on the um, gear lever there. That'll give me a bit of leeway. Right, reverse up to this garage trailer. Will that let us hook up? Uh, attach. Yes. Okay. So now we've just got to lay up. It's time to work our way through this mess. I really need to try and get to sort of there. Oh, forwards. It would help if I go forwards. So this thing is not going to be easy to pull through this uh, wet swamp. In fact, I can see myself getting stuck pretty easily. 
what I might have to do is bring the K700 back to me and then sort of do a sort of double toe as it were that might work I'm just trying to sort of see what's how deep the water is by looking at it from high up Can I get around this bit of island here? Uh, it's looking a bit deep. And that trailer is going to catch that bit of tree, isn't it? If I'm not careful. Oh yeah, this is looking a bit deep. Right, let me just have another quick look at the map. So this is what it's all going to be about. It's just... Constantly looking at the map. Seeing if I can find the route that I need to take. I can't remember how many points is on this trailer. It might be four. It might be two. If it's two, it means I'm going to have to come back. So yeah, let's go down this way. Put some lights on. Yeah, progress is a little slow, I think. And I have a feeling I'm going to run out of fuel. This is going to be interesting. Turn, lorry, turn. Thing is, if you get... I know the four-wheel drive uses way more fuel, but... It does actually get you, give you a lot of extra grip. And as soon as you've got a lot of extra grip, obviously it starts moving a lot quicker and easier. Oh, 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 that looks a bit low. I think we're right. So far. I'm going to try and keep it straight if I can. And that should take us to that little bit of land, which will make life a lot easier. This is where it's going to get a bit awkward because it, um, carves out some of the terrain as you're trying to get out of the water there there we go lovely right another little look at the map it says I should go this way down to there probably across to there down to there over to there and just sort of keep doing this sort of thing until we can get somewhere relatively close I think I wonder if it might be best coming oops so we say through there to there it's been a little while since I recorded the last episode so yeah 
Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Hmm. I can't remember which route I took. That looks a bit deep there, especially there. That looks extremely deep. So maybe I might be best off coming down and around to here. And then we'll see what where we go from there. I'll probably run out of fuel by then though. dropping pretty quick and I still have a lot of ground to cover it's the fact that I've got to keep putting on the all-wheel drive that makes it a bit annoying. But yeah, as you can see, it's getting quite deep here. I wonder if I can attach the winch from the... Not yet. Once I get a bit closer, I can maybe save myself a bit of fuel and uh, use the winch to do some of the work. There we go. Uh, now that is no. In fact, I've just made myself an obstacle. Which looks like it's despawned, actually. Convenient. So we are moving still, just. I really should have bought some extra fuel. Okay, so on this bit of road here, which is nice. Shame it only lasts for literally the length of the truck. Now we need to have a look. In a perfect world, we'll go across there. But it's not a perfect world. Although. Yes. What if. Now this is a big what if. I went down the side of here and then straight across. That could work. Let's have a look. There seems to be a lot of obstacles here though, that's the problem. And yeah, don't mind me as I cry as I see my fuel just dropping. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I'm going to get caught on stuff here if I'm not careful. There's a lot of trees that have fallen over. I'll see if I can do a bit of a right turn here. 
and then try and get on that little section over there. Come on, truck, you can do it. So close. Come on. Yes. No. Yes. Sometimes it's a good idea just to, you know, keep putting on the uh, four-wheel drive just for just for a split second. It just gives you the traction that you need to get going again. Oh, look at the fuel tank there going red. That's not good. Down to the last 50 litres. If only that was it. Unfortunately, it's not. So now we've got to make it over to here. And this is the bit where I'm not sure, because I didn't come this way. I think I'm, I'm sure I came across the top there. Which might have been a better route. I think this section of road was just enticing me. Yes, it was, wasn't it? I could go up along there, down there. Um, and then sort of hope for the best around here. Or I could come down here. Which might be a safer route, actually. Yes, that might be a safer route. Whether I can make it that far, I don't know. We shall see. Come on, truck, you can do it. That looks a little bit deep directly ahead, so I'm just going to turn to the left a little bit. Dangerous water level, that's not good. Um, let's attach to there. Nope, it does not like that. Yes. This is not going to be easy. You know full well I'm going to run out of fuel. It's going to be close. What was the time the lights off? I am so tantalizingly close.
Come on, truck. You can do it. Now, if it's going to go horribly wrong, it's going to be here because that looks like very fast flowing water. Come on, truck, you can make it. Come on. Come on. Yes, let the winch do some work. Beautiful. Uh oh. That does not look promising. Don't don't roll over, don't roll over, don't roll over, don't roll over. Jeez. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Oh, that was so close. I thought we were gonna roll over get pushed over by the uh, water there. Come on, 16 litres left. <laughs> Can you hear the uh, sounds of the engine just chugging there? It's like literally not much fuel left. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Let's put it in auto, see if we can just come on. Oh no. That's me pretty much out of fuel, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that oh that was so close. Look how close we were. Okay, so the next idea then is get the K seven hundred. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but the idea is to somehow get down to the road. It might be quicker coming through here down to the road. And then we'll go pick it up and see if we can do a bit of towing. Good thing about this K700 is it will literally just drive almost anywhere. As you can see. Up and over the hill. See, that's where we needed to get to. We got, we got, literally, we got so close. It's unbelievable how close. And you'll see in a second. So that's where we needed to get to. And we broke, we ran out of fuel. 
Uh, just around the corner here. Literally, that's how close it was. How crazy is that? Now I'm hoping I can tow this. So let's find out. Let's see if this works. I'm not sure if you can or if you can't tow this. Let's uh, see. We can. It lagged a little bit there, didn't it? Yeah, it's out of fuel. And I'm tearing up the road somewhat. But it's kind of working. Yes. Come on, you can do it. Because as soon as you get to the garage, you get a little bit of fuel anyway. So I've literally just got to get it up this hill. And I'll be laughing. Hopefully, if all goes well. Right, here comes the muddy bit. Come on. Come on, you can do it. All hail the K700. Oops. As I drive into the building. There we go. Uh, release. Then we will stop engine. Change truck. Change to this one. And then we'll go. Ah, let's unload this. ka -ching! And you see, I instantly get some fuel. How cool is that? And we've got an achievement. Deluge Settler. So. Next thing on the plan. Oh, got a fuel station there as well. Handy. So. We've got a truck over here. We've got. Another truck over here. And we've got four watch points to uncover. And then we've got to get these logs or these logs over to here that's the plan what i might do is just take the k700 down and try and unlock this watch point and see what there is looking at the map it might involve going down this bottom road but i'll fuel up anyway just on the safe side and then i'll come down and we'll see what we can see this list here allows you to change um all the attachments on your truck so lots of things to choose um and that's that's for that's for another day uh what i want to do is go to advance change truck go to the k700 there we go garage repairs all the damage right i'm just gonna go and top up with the fuel just to you know why not i'm literally there might as well fill it right up to the brim there we go and fuel please thank you so yeah, I think it's either going to be come across here or come from down here. Let's just set the watch point and see what happens. I might be okay to just go straight through, you know.
Oh, tree. Watch the tree. So we'll take it out of automatic gear and we'll just put it in medium forwards. And then just sort of see where, how far we can get. See if we can unlock this uh, watch point. See if we can find it. Ah, there it is. Straight ahead. That's not too difficult. This land might be a little bit awkward uh, in regards to bringing a truck over, though. There might be a few things to get stuck on. Especially these rocks and these little trees. Little pine trees. Crush them with the big tires. Hey, and that's revealed a bit more of the map. So, yeah, we would have been wrong to come down here. Oh, there's another truck over there. And it's a refueler. Awesome. So, yeah, we've got a watch point over here. A watch point here. A watch point here. I think it's probably best going to unlock this watch point. And then... I think then we'll uh, uncover these two. Because it might find a better way back to over here. Otherwise, we're going to have to bring a, a log truck all the way down here. Yeah, the logs come all the way back around. Which could be a bit of a nightmare. But then again, coming straight across here, it seems a bit too easy, if you know what I mean. So, yes... We'll see. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I've been Vamrith, and I will catch you in the next episode.